Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We're looking at the 40th anniversary um, of Return of the Jedi Black Series vintage carded. <laughs> it's, it's all too much. It's all too much. Uh, Chewbacca here from Jabba's Palace. Um, a really, really cool figure. I actually like this one the more I sort of look at it and play around with it and do all that kind of thing. I've really really like this figure it's a nice very scene specific but um not complaining at all so i'm just actually gonna just bump the camera up a little bit just to do a fight with chewbacca's height here and i just want to get a good look at him on camera so yeah for the most part the figure is a complete you know repack of all the other chewies that have come before there hasn't been too much difference between them. The sculpts have all pretty much been the same. Um, no problems there. There's some variation in paint between them. Some are a little bit darker, some are a little bit lighter. Um, they don't need to change too much. Obviously the Solo Dewey came with a different bandolier and satchel um, and some different accessories. But um, yeah, for the most part, they've been pretty similar. Um, head sculpts, you know, they're, they're the things that make the figure slightly different and uh, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen a Return of the Jedi style with his sort of mid part in the top where his hair is just sort of being sort of pushed all the way back it's sort of up over the uh, over the eyes like that which I thought was a slightly interesting look and I do like the way Shadows of the Empire sort of canonize that by um well back in the day it's no longer canon but um by sort of shaving Chewie's head to go under under cover as the bounty hunter snoover we did have that figure in the shadows of the empire series back in the day so yeah Chewie does come with his bow caster although it's you know it's not needed for the scene but nice that they included the weapon nonetheless it's uh, it's the same old bow, bow caster we've had for a long time now in black series but, you know, it's not broken, so why, why change it? So it's fine. Uh, it's not a bad not a bad piece anyway. So, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So obviously the, the main feature here is Chewy with the uh, shackles around the, around the neck. I do really like the details there on his mouth, sort of. It's slowly sculpted to be open. You can kind of just see the white of his teeth in there. I really like that as a as a look. And of course, this uh, the whole the brace around the neck, sort of all sort of the collar, I guess, is all sort of sculpted in. Chain it is plastic. Would be very tempted to replace that with a real chain at some point. Not sure how to attach it in there, whether you just, yeah, I'd like to figure out how to do that at some point. Just replace it with a real chain, give it some weight. But yeah, you got the classic chewy blue eyes there. Looks really nice. But yeah, just a really nicely sculpted head. I know we've all seen this chewy multiple, multiple times. And again, I think it's a I think it's a pretty solid chewy. I think it's still a good figure to have. I've got multiples of them now, multiple different chewbackers. And it's nice to sort of see the only sort of variation in the sculpt is the head. It doesn't really need to he doesn't really change too much. <laughs> but I dig it. I do. I really like this one. A little bit more sort of wash throughout the fur might have been a might have been nice just to give it a little bit more depth, but I don't know, I think it's sort of, it's almost a bit of an ombre look, <laughs> sort of dark into the lighter fur. He's still got all pinless joints, which is, you know, another figure that from back in the day that had, had those pinless joints, which proved they could do it. Just the way they do it now is very, very nice. So as I stated previously, I did a, just did a review a few days ago or released it a few days ago, the time of recording this, it's within about 10 minutes of each other. <laughs> um, 
layer in boosh disguise um, because these figures go exceptionally well together so I wanted to share that and get them both on camera together because yeah really really nice and let's get that sort of chain on there or even have her holding the chain there as she brings him into Jabba's palace for the price of 50,000 so yeah like I said I'd love to re replace that chain with a real one may be done at some point but yeah especially when it comes to the the display once I'm setting these up they'll they just look so good together these two figures they're just you know that's an iconic moment from Return of the Jedi I mean the whole movie's iconic really but to sort of replicate that scene where she presents Chewie as her bounty to Jabba the Hutt and then proceeds to threaten him <laughs> if, if she's not given the price she asks for which is uh, quite ballsy But yeah, a really, really great combination of figures. I'm glad these two sort of come out reasonably close to each other. I mean, you know, it's good when Hasbro sort of plans that. And whether it was intended, I'd say it probably was, you know, get Boosh out there just in time for, for Chewie to sort of come out and you can pair these two up. I think that's really good when they do that. Um, it's just nice to have a little bit of brand unity amongst the figures, especially when they're, when they're released close together so you can get them all together and set up those scenes like straight away you don't have to wait you know years for them to release a second figure um <laughs> to pair up a couple of figures like this so yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts on uh chewy and or both of these i did review bush again so go and check that out if you missed it but um yeah again return of the jedi 40th anniversary um it's a Good bunch of figures just hanging out for that wave three some really great ones coming in that wave so we'll definitely be getting a hold of some of them at least the luke and the vader they're the two that are on the top of my list um not too sure whether i'll pick up any of the others but those two for sure um yeah so stay tuned for them please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and uh subscribe if you're not subscribed already to my channel really really appreciate the support thank you very much for watching until the next one may the force be with you always